maybe next time. So Fallout games, since I think like the first one, have had dumb options for characters with low intelligence. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make myself a dummy, a real fool, a buffoon, if you will. Here we go, that's our boy. Pretty as a picture, but dumb as a rock. Alright, we need to find the right look for him. That's it, that's the one. It's that one. Oh boy, while bald is very tempting. Um... Nah, I'm gonna go with the Fabio hair. We must give you a proper name. One that tells your story. Himbo Smith. My god. He's perfect. Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Wow, like, what an oh, well, idiot. No sense in like, how dumb do you have to be to put your life in danger like that? Also hey, come here. No, 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 come here, come here, come back, come back. Ow! Oh, fuck, that hurts. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, oh, ooh, that hurts way more. Ah. Oh. Fuck you, I can bench 180. Whoa, dude, this place is swanky. I'm gonna take this. Yeah, I can't get in there. Shit, I don't have the key. Huh? Oh, okay. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable amenities. Including the cargo holds workbench. Okay, I want Marauder. Please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Oh, you don't have any swag? Jeez, that blows. I'm so sorry about that. Look, I'll help you get Marauder. some. Marauder, Marauder, please be informed the ship has no crew for you to murder. Oh, shoot, that's so. Uh, wait a second, I don't want to do that. You're trying to use reverse psychology to make me kill people, and I am not, not falling right for that again. Access. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody. It's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Dude, Pavarotti, that's so crazy because my dad would say the exact same thing. He always said, when you gotta make a decision, it's best to think. But, also, alternatively, he was a huge dick, so like, what the fuck does he know? I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. I like where you're coming from, my good dude, but my hair will ah, always be perfect, please. even in death. Alright, Provolone, welcome to Stealing Shit 101. We just gotta make sure that he's not looking and... Hey, I saw that. What? Uh, no, you didn't. Uh, you didn't, you didn't, though. Like, um... What do you think you're doing? Um... Uh... uh n nothing? Just keep your fingers to your own self, okay? Okay, I am gonna steal this though. Like, you see, Parmesan? Easy fucking peasy. Yeah, that's just tough. Like, when my mom died, I. Eugene wasn't family. Wait, you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. What? Dude, you just like. Drop the two most horrible truth bombs I've ever heard in my life, one right after the other. Like, I'm gonna need like 10 minutes to process just like one of the horrible things that you just said. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. Aw, oh, shit. Dude, I played Fallout 4, I definitely just you found the main quest. Aw, oh, he ain't over it. Bet I could fix him up smart. Like, I don't know about that shit, Pagliacci. I think this guy's real- Oh god, he just made the noise. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Nah, bro, don't worry about it. I got this. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide of the Pasture, the good woman of the woods. Answers, huh? No, Adelaide's. You must- not a big drinker, are you? Oh yeah, totally. Wait, are you not? Oh shit, dude. Well, I mean, you don't need to drink this time, but if we're gonna be best bros, you need to pound down some brewskis. Such is the way of the world. Can... You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me. No, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but a phantom. Uh, uh, uh. See? See, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Wait a second. I thought you were scared of the phantom. Why'd you like give it a name? No, you can't possibly be a hallucination. You're much too dense. Not at all, my corporeal friend. 
Higgins is my name. Oh, so you dressed up Master as a ghost so you could steal the all the inheritance money for yourself. I, I think that's another mystery solved, Padaphne. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Oh, shit, Prosciutto, you're right. I mean, like, on one hand, she is making the world a better place and giving people a place to live so that they don't have to be, like, slaves and stuff. But on the other hand, she is being kind of a bitch about it. You give me a lot to think about. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Oh, bro, you know I love pressing me some buttons. Wonderful. Law, have mercy. Well done, Reed. You went and delivered the fate of Edgewater into the hands of a certified imbecile. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Bruh, I literally cannot think of a reason to say no. In fact, I just assumed you were coming because we're like best bros now. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Whoa, slow down there. I mean, like, if you just want to bone down or something, that's great. But I don't know if I'm ready for a commitment. Well, hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? That is both someone's name and their occupation, but like... I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. Oh, time, okay, yeah, no, we could do that. Yeah, no problem. You won't be sorry. Or if you are, just add it to my debt and we'll figure something out. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Hell yeah, dude. If we have a doctor here, I can do like way more sick dirt bike tricks and not have to worry about dying on the way to the hospital. Oh, wow. Now this guy... This guy's a real fucking dow. So real quick, I will apologize to Plavo Laguna and promise her that I will never again hit on one of her dead relatives. Parvati, is it? Whoa. That's a lovely name. Whoa! What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Dude, Paris Hilton, are you seeing the way she is fucking looking at you, bruh? Bruh, are you seeing that fucking look on her face? I'm not gonna say she has the hots for you, because what she has is, like, the sun. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me, because I don't bite back. So, uh, guys? I don't say this every other week, but... I think I might be in love. Like, I think she's the one. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Oh hell yeah, man! A twink would really round out yes, our menage. Absolutely. Five. So June Lay and I've been talking some through messages. I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it, and the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if. Maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? <laughs> Don't worry, penicillin. This is my one area of expertise. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Oh, yeah, you're not a pussy getting king or a dick grabbing yas queen. You're an ace. I learned about those in Las Vegas. It was instrumental in helping me to understand how poker works. And IMO, don't fucking worry about that shit. I mean, it's like how some of my bros don't want to bone down because they think sucking dick and banging dudes is gay. Totally not. But you're chill as fuck. And if she's chill as fuck, she'll recognize that despite how much or how little you want to bone down dudes. Thanks, Captain. 
Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Dude, I thought you'd never fucking ask. Thanks, Captain. Bottoms up. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Well, right now you're pounding your first light beer with a bro, and let me tell you, ten years from now you'll think that beer sucks for a completely different reason. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Hmm, hold on, let me just flash back to something real quick. Your lips were fussy. I want to run my fingers up your pussy. So yeah, in my professional opinion, I don't think you have anything to worry about in that department. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Whiskey, 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 whiskey! All right, whiskey. Yeah! Woo, that smells like an unlawful union between paint thinner and propellant. The two main ingredients. Here we go. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's, well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later she's not? Here. I follow the philosophy for the most part that all women are queens, but sometimes I run into women who are mean and abusive and not deserving of the title and probably never will be. What do you mean, Captain? Like, I could spend my energy trying to gain their respect, or I could spend it on trying to be the best king that I can be. So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Dude, yeah, but everyone does. Look, sometimes I even get to thinking, if she breathes, she's a thought. But like, that's not my brand. It's not yours either. So, are you gonna ask her out? Oh gosh, I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Dude! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it! Right when we get back to the shit. Ship. Yeah, that's the whiskey I talking. Mean. Oh, by the way, we did whiskey shots together, so we are best bros for life. Like, that's just the way it is, and there's no take backs. Visitor? What an unexpected surprise. Please, come in. Come in. I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. Oh yeah, Nioka, definitely. Like, these guys either have a blood cult in their basement or are secretly cannibals. It's gonna be one or the other. Excellent. You've arrived at just the right time. My wife is putting the finishing touches on dinner. They are cannibals. Okay, nice. now we know. Divinity Original Sin 2, Fallout 3, New Vegas, Skyrim, Witcher 3, Pillars of Eternity was the one with the death cult. Basically anything even slightly adjacent to a CRPG will have this quest in it. It's like a requirement. So basically what we need to do now is find the secret murder room. It's usually in a basement, but I didn't find like a secret hatch or anything on the floor. That's usually what it is. So I'm just going to look up here at... Oh, there it is. Need to unlock this door and voila! Secret murder room. So for sodden assholes, ain't enough that the raps eat everyone. Now people are doing it too. Yeah, man, it's fucked up, right? I'm gonna be sick. Oh, uh, first time. Now, personally, as a veteran of this quest line, I have found a very, very simple solution to the next moral quandary we are faced with. Okay, here we go. Before you kill your prey, you ever say any snappy one-liners? Snappy one-liners? Give me an example. To shreds, you what? say? But he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Kind of like you, actually. Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen. But I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. I must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Man of pillars ain't got pheromone sex. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. Oh, I get it. Yeah, the strong, silent type. You know, a lot going on in his head, like me. <laughs> Wait, did that lady call me an idiot?